<laughs> if you have become addicted to the Real Housewives, you're in luck. A cure awaits you. That's right. One of Atlanta's Southern Bells is in our studio with us. You know her as Kim. She's back for season two of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And these ladies, man, they're burning down the house with their ratings. And if we're lucky, maybe we can get a few secrets out of Kim. Because she'll give up some things here. And she's here with Andy Cohen, so yes. we know some sparks will fly. Okay, now, Kim, you're, um, first of all, you guys are rated through the roof, so it's hot. And if you ever watch one of the teasers or promos, you guys are fighting. Someone's pulling your hair. Somebody your loses cursing. a wig almost Always. every time. You have a wig, and <laughs> yes. someone's trying to yank it off. Yes. What's going on with you guys? Real classy, Sheree, to try to pull my hair off. You know, really, real classy. And why, why, why was she so angry at you? What had happened? You know, I think what happened is, and why was I so angry? Because they try to accuse me of stuff that I, I really didn't say or didn't do. Now, I do say stuff, and I admitted to Nini, I did say that you have no class, mm -hmm. but I didn't say that her husband was broke. And so there's kind of all this, like, tension, because Nini and I have this connection above all of them that we always find our way back to each other. That's what, actually, she, was, she did I mean, a phoner with us at the top yeah. of our show, and she said yeah. you guys always wind up back together. That's not this, where the like, tension kind is. kind of love connection. I don't know what it is. It's a love-hate relationship? Yeah, it's not so much hate. It's just like we get hurt. Like she hurts me if she says something. Where Sheree, I really don't care what she has to say. Yeah. You know, a wig poll. You can't underestimate the power of a wig poll. <laughs> is that cute? You know? It's not cute. It's well, no, but it's it's. Uh... It goes back to remember the days of Dynasty when they were fighting. Yes. And, and every, everybody but loved guys, that. Stuff. Do you guys feel like you have to amp it up? Because on the Jersey Housewives, you remember when she th Danielle threw that somebody threw the table and everyone was screaming and it became a huge thing. Right. It's like and our production meeting. Exactly. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we turn into your tune, tune into your show. And then we see more physical, like, like I feel like everyone's trying to amp it up because you got to get there. I think I think there was always violence in Sheree. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that because of Jersey she amped it up. Uh -huh. I just think but that also she you taped your show before Jersey had we ever did. aired, yeah. so did they didn't Thank see you. that. So, well, so that wasn't right. trying to. Right. right. Yeah. Are you guys yeah. amazed just at the celebrity that has come along with? Uh, what's it like to be you? My life changed so quick. You know, some people kind of gradually get into it. Mine was like seven weeks and complete change. Mm -hmm. It's hard balancing my children. That's the, that's the problem I'm having right now is trying to keep my 12-year-old off the Internet and, and trying to keep my kids balanced and focused. But you, you have but them on the air. Is that, was that a I tricky do. decision for you? No, it never even occurred to me. I didn't think we were going to be this big. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect last year. Now, have you changed your mind about exposing them so much? Yes and no. They're like the most important thing in my life, and I want people to see that. Mm -hmm. And they're fantastic. I love to they're spend great. time with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you're torn between being so proud and wanting to protect, right? Mm -hmm. And it hurts my feelings, and they have questions for me that are hard for me to answer. Like they love Nini, for example. Mm -hmm. So when they see Nini and I fighting, or they hear something, they're like, "Mommy, why would she do that?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know. So they're learning, and I'm learning on how to deal with it. But all in all, I have no regrets. Do you think you're portrayed um, the way that you are? Is this the real you, the one that we see on the tube? Well, I think last year the reason why I was like I have to come back for season two is because I can't be portrayed any worse than I was last year. <laughs> I mean, so did you learn from yeah. it? I what do you think you I did wrong like, last year that you'll change? I just think I was real naive to it. I didn't really change yeah, anything mm -hmm. except I was a little bit more um, outspoken this year. Like I've had enough. Like I try to remain classy. And unfortunately, I was cursing. unable to Andy, do that. It gets, it gets <laughs> oh, I get very mad. I saw it. Look at you pointing and yelling. I don't like to be accused of stuff that's mm -hmm. not, you know. And, the, and, and Sheree tends to bring out the worst in me. Does she? So the yeah. producers put you together more often than normally, uh -huh. I'm sure, just to make the sparks fly. Yeah. Andy? No, yeah. Andy. Hey, listen. No. You it's guys get together, and that was you trying to have a little summit to repair right. your friendship, and then the, but they're not the rational. wake pull happened. <laughs> but yeah. it's, a, it's, a real, it's, it's a real what we're seeing, Andy? Yes, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. These are five women in Atlanta who know each other uh, in varying degrees, and it's amazing to see how their relationships change, and I think that's what people can't get enough of, mm -hmm. and I think you all are so volatile and um, exciting and independent and mm -hmm. strong I'm volatile. and outspoken. Yeah. A little bit. A wee bit. For good TV, it as they say. Kim, Kim and good Andy luck. Andy, Andy very, yeah, very you got a blockbuster on your hands. And you can check out Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight at 10 Eastern and 9 Central and stick around for Watch What Happens Live at midnight. Set your alarm. All right, when we come back, we have two soccer moms you who you don't want to compete with. Oh, my God. You Brandy. Lose. Yes, so we've got first. a great group. Brandy Take and Mia, the they're in the house. But first, this is today on NBC. Pass it to my teammates on the other side. Kick it in the net, now we're satisfied. We scored a goal.